वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वाई एंड जेड पैरामीटर्स सो लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर हैविंग वन वेरी सिंपल इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क एंड फॉर दिस रजिस्टिव नेटवर्क वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड वाई एंड जेड पैरामीटर्स नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स whenever you have question based on y and z parameters first of all you will have to see whether given network is there in terms of simple t network or pi network here you can observe this is simple pi network right now as this is simple pi network by finding two equations of kcl we can easily solve y and z parameters i'll show you how to do that so as this is simple pi network what i'll be doing is i'll be finding kcl equations at this and at this node right here this is node v1 and here node v2 is there see here basic standard process that we will not follow like for y parameter that is short circuited parameter so what we do is we short one port and we find two parameters and in second case we short another port and we find another two parameters but that is what we will not do in case of simple t or pi network right so here v1 and v2 these two nodes are there with us so let us assume current in other branches so i1 and i2 is there so here let us consider we have current i3 and here let us consider current is i4 and here let us consider current is i5 so first what i'll do is i'll apply kcl at node v1 so if you apply kcl at node v1 then you see entering current that is equals to leaving current entering current is i1 and leaving current is i3 and i4 so i can say i1 is equals to i3 plus i4 now i1 that is what the current which is inserted at port 1 and i3 that is tail voltage minus head voltage so that is v1 minus 0 divided by resistance so v1 that is what i3 and i4 that is again tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance so v1 minus v2 by 1 so i4 that is v1 minus v2 so if you simplify this then you will be having i1 is equals to 2v1 minus v2 so this is one equation which we have and we can compare that with y parameter equations but let me derive second equation also so for that we will apply kcl at node v2 so here entering current is equals to leaving current so entering current is i2 and i4 and leaving current that is i5 right so here we need to make equation of i2 so i can say i2 that is i5 minus i4 so you see now i2 that is equals to what is i5 i5 is happening in this branch so that is tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance so tail voltage is v2 head voltage is ground so v2 by 3 that is i5 right now what is i4 so i4 that is v1 minus v2 by 1 so that is v1 minus v2 so let us simplify this further so i2 that is equals to see in terms of v1 i need to write first so minus v1 that is the case now see v2 by 3 minus minus plus v2 so v2 plus v2 by 3 that will be plus 4 by 3 v2 that i can say right so now we have two equations and we can compare these two equations with y parameter equation what are standard y parameter equation i1 is equals to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 and second equation that is i2 is equals to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 so if you compare this two equation with the derived equation right then we'll be having 
y matrix so y matrix is what y11 y12 y21 y22 so let us substitute the values so y11 is 2 y12 that is minus 1 y21 that is also minus 1 and y22 that is 4 by 3 so now we got the value of y matrix right now if you see the question then here we need to find z parameters also right so once you have y parameter we can have z parameter in my previous class i have already explained how to do conversion so z matrix is what that is inverse of y matrix right now how to find inverse of y matrix inverse of y matrix is adjoint of y matrix divided by magnitude of y matrix right now how to find adjoint of y matrix so see these two elements that we need to replace with, with each other so 4 by 3 that will come here and 2 that will be over here and with these two elements we need to multiply it with minus 1 so minus 1 will get to plus 1 and this minus 1 will get to plus 1 so this is adjoint of y matrix divided by magnitude so what is that magnitude 2 into 4 by 3 minus minus 1 into minus 1 so that will be plus 1 now let us simplify this so 8 by 3 minus 1 so that will be 5 by 3 right so now we need to divide this 5 by 3 with each elements so 4 by 3 divided by 5 by 3 so that is 4 by 5 right so first element is 4 by 5 now 1 divided by 5 by 3 that is 3 by 5 now this 1 divided by 5 by 3 that is again 3 by 5 and this 2 divided by 5 by 3 that is 6 by 5 so that is how we got z matrix i hope you have understood this still if you have any query then just place that in comment box i'll be definitely going to help you and one more thing that you should remember is whenever you have been given with any electrical network which is there in terms of pi or t network then by solving two equations we can have directly y and z parameters right for pi network we will be applying kcl at nodes of v1 and v2 and for t network we will be applying kvl in loop at v1 as well as at v2 right so for that there are a few problems that i have already placed here in my playlist of network theory you just go through it definitely that will help you to understand how easily we can solve questions based on two port network thank you so much for watching this video